Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome Trash Blazers as well. Welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail playthrough session. We are picking up immediately where we left off in the last session, making it to the underworld of Jurilo 6's story progression. We just met Zila. She protected her girlfriend, Bronya, from getting attacked by like the miners of this place. We're still continuing the overall plot of the Stellaron, the Aeon, and figuring out what the hell's going on with uh, Matushka Kokolia, like Mommy Kokolia and whatnot. There are a couple of things that I'm going to be doing in this video as an account progression. I'm going to be deviating a little bit from the story, but then we're going to pick up on the story after we do all of these things. The first thing is that I kind of fumbled the bag a little bit because I was under the assumption that from my last stream to this one, there were characters that were in this area. There was like Bronya, Sampo and stuff like that. And I didn't get to interact <laughs> with them. So I don't know what their dialogue would have been or anything like that. I will include their dialogue here now for the YouTube video. I am going to be making a free-to-play account just so I can kind of get screenshots of certain characters and moments that I can't get while I'm streaming. Hopefully the editor does it right now. How are you finding your first trailblazing expedition? Uh, that's good. I'm about to summarize the intel we've gathered so far. Did you want to listen? First, we have the underworld. A huge underground space. Miners have built towns here and are excavating Geomero. We learned from Natasha that the Underworld shoulders the energy needs for their entire civilization. Laboring in the Underworld used to be a great honor, and there was regular movement between realms. Sampo mentioned the Furnace Core, which people would use to travel in both directions. Yet now, each realm is sealed off from the other. Only the automatic transport line for Geomero and goods is still in operation. The reason for sealing the Furnace Core still needs to be investigated. In addition, it appears that Sampo has secret connections that grant him passage between here and the surface that may come in useful to us. Up to now, apart from Branya, whom Sampo brought here, I still haven't seen a single Silvermane guard. At the Fight Club, I heard people say that the guards withdrew from the underground many years ago, and that it was the Supreme Guardian who gave the order. At the time, the Supreme Guardian was none other than Kokolia Rand. Next, we have our goal, the Stellaron. After we revealed our intentions, the Supreme Guardian suspended communications and sent soldiers to arrest us. Her reaction was strange, to say the least. It's too early to say, but it was a radical move. It means that we must have broached a highly sensitive subject. A secret that she's sparing no effort to protect. If I remember our discussion correctly, I think there are two main possibilities. The Architects and the Stellaron. I'm inclined to think it's the latter, but we lack evidence. There's an old saying that goes, good fortune lies within bad, bad fortune lurks within good. Even when compared with the Overworld, the Underworld has a long history. There should be valuable intel here. Not to mention, without the Supreme Guardian's interference, we have a better chance than ever of locating the Stellaron. Lastly, we have the main strength of the underworld, Wildfire. After the Silvermane guards withdrew, and in order to keep the peace, the residents of the underworld spontaneously organized their own militia, thereby taking over the guards' duties. Ally? Hmm. It's a little premature to be talking about that. But Wildfire will be familiar with all manner of forces below ground. If we want to find Stellaron clues in the underground, I'm certain they can help. I don't know them. Trust isn't part of the picture yet. But speaking of trust, I suggest you don't place too much of yours in Sampo Kosky. He hasn't revealed his true intentions. But he has managed to corral us into a difficult situation, almost without us realizing. That's a dangerous person indeed. Hmm. That's all we need to summarize for now. If there's anything else you're not clear on, come and find me. Oh, hi! Wanna listen to my thoughts on the underground? Where should I start? My observational skills are second to none. Well, the underworld is surrounded by cliffs, and there's no obvious structure. It seems like a spread out collection of mines and small towns, just like the outskirts of Bellabog. There's that huge pillar called the Furnace Core that's always in view. 
Maybe it's some kind of energy hub? From what I've seen, the residents are nearly all miners. It seems like the people here have less than those in the overworld. Still, the miners watch fights in their spare time. It's less pretentious than that theater they have on the surface. They're always in a hurry. The pace of life here is so fast. Things are pretty busy in the overworld too, but everything feels more relaxed up there. I'm not so good at analyzing people, but seeing as you asked, that guy, uh, he's lazy, lying, cunning, and evil. I don't like him. Can't stand the sight of him. I bet you think he's pretty entertaining. Watch out or he'll fool you. Ah, uh, you mean that naughty kid we played hide and seek with? Dr. Natasha said that she's a handful, but that she also takes care of the homeless kids. Maybe she's more mature than she seems? Still, I can't believe how arrogant she is. I was pretty mad with her for a while. The Silvermane girl? She's pretty. I like looking at her. When I first met her, I thought she was kind of scary, but now it seems like there's something on her mind. I'm too nervous to ask her. At least she's not trying to arrest us anymore. She says what she thinks. I like her. And did you hear what she said about the Silvermane guards? <laughs> Sounded like she'd been waiting a long time to say it. I think I'd get along with her. If we can get her to help us, we'll bag Estella Ron in no time. If you hear any juicy gossip, um, uh, information, <laughs> come find me. Bored? Your big brother Sampo's always up for a chat. What kind of question is that? I'm your old pal Sampo Koski. We've been through thick and thin together. Well, that just means there's something wrong with your question. Questions are like transactions. If your request isn't clear, you might end up buying the wrong thing. Wildfire are one of my major clients. Though the work is mostly odds and ends, still, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> Who am I to complain if the money's right, huh? Zila works for them. Oleg's most trusted lieutenant. But to her, I'm probably just a wildfire's lapdog. <laughs> yeah, well, but, but a very contented lapdog, I should add. <laughs> As a non-member, not a clue. They'd never tell me their ultimate aims. Shame, really. It's not like I'm a blabbermouth. A pleasure. Until next time. I will arrest you under the Supreme Guardian's decree. Nothing has changed. I am not your friend. I saw you the day before the Goethe Hotel. Japard took you to see m the Supreme Guardian. He told me you were visitors from beyond the sky. Just like the interstellar travelers of ancient legend. People of all kinds that carried the will of the eons. Japard said that you wanted to help us reverse the damage that the eternal freeze and fragmentum continue to wreak on our planet. But that night, Mother summoned me and ordered me to take a detachment to arrest you. What happened? The Supreme Guardian didn't tell me the details and Japard had to rush back to the front line. I don't understand. Oh. The Silvermane guards withdrew to the surface long ago. I must avoid that identity here. Until we're back in the overworld, I propose a temporary truce and cooperation. Your true intentions are of interest to me. If it helps you to trust me, I'm willing to answer your questions to the best of my ability. Let me repeat, all I received were the Supreme Guardian's instructions. It is for the adjudication panel to pass judgment on the accused. All the Supreme Guardian told me was that your identities were counterfeit and that your intention was to overthrow the rule of the architects. Truthfully, I've never heard of this Stellaron, but if all this catastrophe could be brought to an end simply by sealing it, then I hope its existence proves to be real. Fragmentum monster activity on the surface intensified, and hostilities on the front line were critical. To resist the invasion, the architects had no choice but to redeploy the guards to the front line. If we couldn't hold our defensive line, then we wouldn't be able to maintain our supply of aid to the underground, which would have collapsed without us. That was the Supreme Guardian's explanation. In truth, I've always felt like something important is being hidden. Whether it's the Architects, Mother, or the Silvermane Guards, there's always an... 
unnatural element to their actions. Since encountering you, the unexpected seems to have arrived in waves. I never thought I'd enter the underworld that has been sealed away for so long. I have a feeling that with you, I can pick up the lost threads and dispel my uncertainties. Mm. We should be going to see Wildfire. Let's move. So hopefully you guys were able to see that. That's for the YouTube audience. Twitch is just looking at me like, Arnold, what the hell are you doing? Anyways, we have a long list of content to kind of get through for today. I did unlock the battle pass and the daily missions. I've been doing these between yesterday and today. I decided to just do them off stream because they're kind of miscellaneous tasks and objectives. So these are very easy to kind of just go through. You don't even need to do all of them. You just need to do enough to reach the 500 mark. I did these two and they're just like, sir, you don't need to be an overachiever you only need to do the bare minimum here so by doing this we end up getting all of the rewards just getting that out of the way i am going to be doing some simulated universe stuff today because i do want to make progress on this like inter astral peace guide aka the adventurer's handbook for this game i do want to make progress on this so that's going to be something that i do for progression as well and i got a lot of levels in on my battle pass actually so i'm just going to redeem all of this i will go up to level 18 so battle pass currently is rank 18 thus far i'm gonna be getting a shit ton of oh hold on are these resources oh god how do i know which one i need i guess these are ascension materials this kind of caught me off guard okay so these are all the rewards that i got trailblazer passes we got some fuel aka resin materials whatnot oh thank god i don't have to pick it right now good 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 so i need to actually do research on that i have no idea what ascension materials i even need to level up what characters to take beyond my current level i'm actually just really happy they didn't force me to have to choose something really quick before we get into anything i found a trash can <laughs> I have not interacted with this one, I don't think. At least like the dumpster and the trash cans combined. This trash can looks like the other ones at first glance. But when you take a closer look, you uncover its sinister nature. Someone has done something to the spring bar of the lid. If you pull the lid of the trash can, the lid will bounce back at you, dealing a heavy blow. Mm you know what let's fix it let's be good little noodles you spent some time on it but finally succeeded now the spring bar is fixed and nobody will be hurt by this trash can ah hey <laughs> We did good, gamers. Trash blazers, rise up. Yo, you know what? I'm a good trash blazer, all right? I'm not out here sabotaging the common folk, okay? Trash gets a bad rap. Trash gets a bad name. And I will be damned if I continue to live another day in a world where trash gets trashed on. The two trash cans standing tightly side by side as if no force in the world can separate them. Oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt you two. You know what? Where there's trash, there's love. <laughs> Damn, bro, they're trash shipping. Yeah, I know. Trash cans can find love too. Hey, if trash cans can find love, so can you. All right, don't give up hope. I actually need to go to the surface as well because I did like a little minor stream last night and people actually told me that the world interacts with the progression of the story. So we are wanted criminals Wherever and- there is business, there is Sampo. This man is like, wherever there's a scam, I'm not too far by. <laughs> I was told that there are wanted posters here for our arrest because we like freaking ran off and were like criminals on the run and stuff like that. So I just wanted to see and find and see if I can interact with any. Also, there's this phone booth over here. Oh, it's my main character. You rarely deal with such old and bulky communication devices, though it's obvious that you'll get a chance to find out how phone booths work now. Nobody's in the phone booth. No Bella Boggians dying to use it either. A good time to hog it all for yourself. All right, I gotta check it out. We're trash boomers. Let's go. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Let's explore this small place a bit. Oh, God. Gee! Yo! <laughs> Pick up the phone because your boy just called it. <laughs> you spot a small card next to the rotary dial telephone with peeling paint. It reads, oh, the Rightful Rights Society, followed by what you think is a phone number. Oh, dear. Six. Oh, my. They even had like the rotary sound effect. Zoomers playing in this game are going to be like, what the hell is going on right now? Six, eight, seven, seven. You start dialing the number. Now you have figured out what it says if it's connected. 
Uh oh. You realize the phone call is picked up on the other side and the person is preparing to engage in a heated exchange of words with you. <laughs> Time to improv? The Rightful Rights Society. How may I help you? Uh, uh, I, I, what can we do for you? I'd like to know more about this society of yours. There was an NPC earlier in the playthrough that talked about like the Rightful Rights Society is like a society where if you don't want to go to work, you shouldn't have to. And there should be other people that will go on your behalf and then you will do the same for others. So it's basically like one hand washing the other because we deserve that right. Now, I don't think that shit would fly in real life because people are greedy and self-centered and want to think about themselves. They don't want anyone else's baggage. So I don't know. Maybe this is an interesting society to be a part of. Why, of course, we are a volunteer group consisting of Bellabogians that help all members temporarily escape the bonds of family and responsibilities. We are essentially a nonprofit organization with no fees to join. You just have to help fellow members in your spare time. I'm already doing that bro like i literally came to this world and i'm like i need to fix the cancer of this place let me help you we also offer a one-time trial service for free just call us and let us know what you need and we'll arrange Ooh, okay yo i need all of those freaking stellar jade if you got them i'm a trash blazer in need i got something you can help with let's get the show started with your own legendary life story you are the 23rd generation and rightful heir of a certain famous bellabog family i'm getting isekai right now you are beautiful your hair spreads as rosy clouds and even the tears you cry seem like pearls you are wealthy you're weighted on hand and foot and were given the best in life oh my how impressive damn i'm literally lying through my teeth right now yet not only did a rich girl like you avoid being spoiled you even dedicated yourself to self-improvement more still you fought crime helped the poor and even met the supreme guardian however that's not your true aspiration the supreme guardian your greatest wish is to get rid of the chores of life and go see your idol serval at the workshop again uh, you know what i wouldn't mind going back there to see serval she's fucking hot you just need a little help from the right oh my god hey man my life is kind of bleak right now can you guys take care of my responsibility so i can go simp for this workshop lady you just need a little help from the rightful rights society to do that you've explained your needs in detail it's clear your awesome story touched whoever took the call as indicated by the faint sobbing <laughs> Bro, my life is literally a lie. In the end, they yielded to each of your unreasonable requests, even encouraging you not to let the impossible dreams keep you down. Their response is as follows. Don't worry, the rightful right society always comes through. You say your goodbyes and the other end quickly hangs up. Undoubtedly, you've won this round. Bruh. Where there's a scam, there is Sampo. <laughs> channeled my inner sampo right there dude oh my god that is so hilarious i really love this world dude yeah sampo more like scampo am i right dude if japard gets word that we're literally scamming people so we can spend time with his presumably i think that's his sister <gasps> yo we found one of the wanted posters oh my god that's uh march 7th i think hold up yo they did her kind of yo sheesh okay yeah i'm definitely saving all of these there's an otherworldly sensual portrait here or rather a wanted poster the woman in the poster is smiling like a flower holding a camera she looks at you affectionately or possibly from somewhere just behind you honestly it's hard to take seriously this beautiful portrait before you it looks exactly like her yet different in every sense if you twisted my arm perhaps it's a little less joyful you decided to peel it off the wall if she likes it you can stick it back up okay i'm pretty sure that's like a felony crime right there <laughs> We're already fugitives of the law. I'm so glad I took a picture of that. I have to take a picture of all of them if we're gonna take them down. So we found one. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm literally dying. What the hell? Dude, look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> they did this man dirty, bro. This is refrigerator quality art. I will say this though. You know what? I have to take this down. This is ruining my boy's reputation. There's an expressively unbridled portrait here, or rather a wanted poster. But this guy's eyebrows betray a hint of sincerity as well as slight gravitas. <laughs> Yet not as wild as the poster itself. You can basically confirm who this guy looking down on you is. If you take the poster back to the train and 
and show it oh my god i'm literally gonna give all of them their own like freaking wanted posters jesus if you take the poster back to the train and show it to that person he'll probably show it the exact same expression <laughs> nah bro the don hung disrespect needs to stop this is insane you decide to take it off the wall for the sake of bellabog and for the sake of your companion bro i have to do it to him i don't give a damn bro like don hung did not deserve that don hung deserved better bro i love this world this is definitely i think this is sampo's art right here <laughs> Guys, how did we get here? How did we go from shoujo freaking goaded art March 7th? This looks like the children of this place did this. If I didn't know any better, bro, I would literally say that Hook and her friends did this artwork. <laughs> this is so derpy. Bro, this literally looks like it was done in MS Paint. <laughs> Damn Scampo. I feel like he had this coming. I'll be honest. My art better be goaded, dude. I'm a five star. I better not be getting disrespected. I wish I kind of actually did a side by side. Like, look at this. This is actually criminal. Straight up defamation to a T. I can't believe, bro. There is an expressively unbridled portrait here, or rather, a wanted poster. The figure is highly unique. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Oh, to be more descriptive, have deep blue hair and jade green eyes. This isn't going over your head but the portrait really is so expressive that any description here would be gliding the lily jesus look his half smiling sneer says it all really <laughs> You decide to peel it off the wall, mainly for Bellabog. Thinking of all you've been through here, you can't really care how the character in the poster feels. You know what? We just did this man a favor. Another one. Yo, hold up. Who is this? Nani the fuck? Yo, who's this Casanova looking individual? Hoyoverse is literally just like teasing a future character. Either that or this is like a reference to like their husbando game. Is this Don Hung? Hold the phone. Ain't no way, bro. Do they have two different artists? making these posters does that mean there's a derpy march 7th out there <laughs> Wait a minute. No, there can't be. There's an otherworldly sensual portrait here, or rather a wanted poster. The guy in the poster appears aloof, holding a blue flower as cold as ice. You identify him as a classic second main lead in a once popular period genre. Always indifferent, always at a distance, always struggling to keep emotions in check. We usually call this kind of guy. Darn it, you wanted to come up with a cooler nickname, but those kilobytes of brain power seem preoccupied occupied with the existing name cold dragon young so the other version was don hung and then this is his cooler side you decided to peel it off the wall the nameless have never left behind any credit for good deeds done let alone for a portrait as exquisite as this within every individual there is like the cool version of you and the cringe version of you you are based and cringe at the same time and these posters are reflecting the ugly truth of both sides of these characters i think oh my god that's so funny that's so creative though i never would have thought i'm I'm literally excited to find the next portrait oh here's the oh dear oh no what have you done they can't keep getting away with this <laughs> Okay, this is literally the worst one. This is not good, guys. This is literally Paimon quality artwork right here. You know what this reminds me of? For anyone that's played Genshin, the Shadows Amid Snowstorms event, where like we had to make a portrait of Paimon and we made a derpy version and then Albedo literally made the fucking Mona Lisa. Oh, damn, March 7th. They gave you the Paimon treatment here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, March. There's an expressively unbridled portrait here, or rather a wanted poster. It has to be said that the aesthetic of this artist is shocking to the eyes. <laughs> the frantic brushwork combined with bold colors to vividly bring the character to life, while the joyful emotions conveyed by the whole portrait spills out from the canvas. You can say it's 100% faithful, and it's like bro that is so disrespectful you can say that it's a 100 percent faithful in its likeness to the original you decided to peel it off the wall such a masterpiece can scarcely be made public to the world in any case not to her at least i am offended you did not just disrespect this girl like that nothing reaches the pinnacle of march 7th she is so sweet oh my god bro is there any more is that it does the sampo not have like a, a refined 
Oh my, no, we still have more. Bro, wh why did you do this? <laughs> why? There's no way, bro. What the hell? Is that supposed to be my bat? This guy is literally looking at my portrait like, what the hell is this abomination doing in my city? Bro, I literally look unhinged right now. I look diabolical right now. <laughs> Yo, you know what that is? That's the trash blazer. And they try to get my bat too. Like you fucked up the bat. The bat was the coolest part. There's an expressively unbridled portrait here, or rather a wanted poster. The figure of the picture is predominantly grayish white, androgynous, and looking straight at you with a sense of lukewarm lifelessness in their eyes. I'm getting angry. Coupled with a structure that appears to be hand gripping a baseball bat, it's instantly clear to whom the figure refers. You decided to peel it off the wall for the sake of Bellabog and for your own self-preservation. <laughs> my own humility. Oh my God. This is hilarious. I think there's a couple more. I gotta keep my eyes peeled. These things are like in plain sight. Oh, let me check over here. Oh, we found it. Oh my God. Why did I only get a derpy one? That's not fair. This is some bullshit oh my god get me out of here look at this man mr freaking tuxedo mask casanova himself there's an otherworldly sensual portrait here or rather a wanted poster the guy in the poster appears sincere gripping a rose in his teeth as he blazes with enthusiasm you identify him as a classic male lead in a once popular period genre always fiery always aggressive always unabashedly characteristic we usually call this kind of guy a reckless lothario you decided to peel it off the wall after all you know who it's a portrait of and love must always have an object of its desire they Save the best for last, right? Clearly. It seems like it was the last one. Bellabog Cityscape has been revitalized thanks to you. Congratulations. You count and found seven wanted posters in total. Oh, seven posters, seven archons, seven dragons, seven elements, seven nations. Oh, God. But unfortunately, despite collecting all seven of these, no Supreme Guardian pops out of nowhere to grant fulfillment of your wishes. That's all there is regarding the wanted posters. But if you're still curious, you might be able to hit up some of your Silvermane guard friends, Gepard and Pella, if you ask them why these wanted posters are so strange. Ooh, 50 credits, poggers. Oh, wait, was that a Dragon Ball Z reference? Like the seven Dragon Balls to fulfill my wish? Yo, whoever's the writing team of this game, whoever's responsible for the fucking world flavor text, y'all are literally a national treasure, and I hope you get everything you deserve in this freaking game and while you work on it. Like, it's actually super pog. Check your in-game profile pic. You are fucking kidding me. Oh my God. <laughs> they really did this. People on my friends list are gonna be like, what the hell is that? This is just as fun as the main story. I thought the trash can lore was peak, but this was just as goaded. I love this so much. Free game, by the way. <laughs> Y'all need to keep me up to date on certain things that I should be peeping out. The trash can lore, I kind of went on myself, but I would have missed this entire wanted poster situation if my chat didn't tell me last night. And I, would, I told them I'd check it out the next time I streamed. But God damn, this was so great. All right, so we got to move on from there. I don't know how the hell they're going to top this, but this was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. We actually have to go to the Herta space station now. I'm going to be going through the simulated universe, but there is a Herta that I found over here. I was farming earlier today today and there's a herta just chilling in the corner like she's in timeout or something it's so funny i swear to god if she's not in this okay state your business and stop blocking my way jesus christ man what's her problem i just wanted to see what was up and she was just like get the hell out of my way i have work to do i'm busy find and talk to all herta puppets on the space station disposable sheesh you know what i'll take my leave you know what thanks for the stellar jade i will not bother her again my god well you know what's funny she's like get out of here i'm busy i have work to do we literally have to talk to her again because we're going to the simulated universe so too bad so sad all right so i do want to make progress quickly in the simulated universe i know that there's some like rewards that I want to try to get and I want to make progress on my guidebook. So we have simulated universe, second closed beta. Herta asks you to enter the simulated universe created by the Genie Society while pretending to be the Aeon of Trailblaze and try to glean in the secrets of the Aeons and the paths from the simulated Aeons. 
So we are going to get this underway. Hopefully it's not too difficult. Madam, I did a pre-upgrade on the simulated universe, but you have to wait until I can deploy it. Where have you been? I've been waiting for your test reports. Get in there now. Ma'am, I'm going to twirl something fierce right now if you keep this up. She's literally like, get your ass in there. I've been waiting way too long. Purchase so-called upgrade seems to make no sense. Hold on. All right, so this is my first foray, I would say, into the simulated universe. And I feel like I'm going to body everything because I'm literally level 20. Oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting in the simulated universe you have given characters i'm like yo where's my team yeah i completely forgot i was like i'm level 20 i got this and then i'm like uh oh i completely forgot all right so this is fully the aeon of remembrance which kind of governs the garden of remembrance which is the followers that preside over light cones and the memories of the light cones and all that so welcome back fully the strange thing happened again a chill creeps up your spine mist clouds your eyes and you feel a familiar vision of appearing again. This time, it is even closer. You can feel the presence and power. Fully, the Aeon of Remembrance appears again. They float in midair, bowing their head from above. Are they looking at you? But you're not sure which section is their eye. You tell yourself to stay sober and complete the mission. Speak to them. Ooh, <laughs> what a coincidence we meet again. How did you manage to control my mind? I hope that's a good response. Chaos turns into time and dereliction of duty will pass. The volume is no longer proportional the steps are reduced one step two steps three steps four five steps six steps seven steps more that's out of the dr seuss right there away from everything be careful the elio train moves forward the baby falls to the ground the cancer is growing wait isn't elio the name of the stellaron hunter that kafka and silverwolf were kind of like ordered by to come here i wonder if elio is an aeon potentially because they were like oh elio didn't foresee this so it doesn't matter or something like that kafka was like oh it's not in the script almost as if like elio foresaw the sequence of events happening and that's why they knew that they could complete their mission so i wonder if elio was like literally on some like istaroth nonsense like a time oriented aeon they respond to you after hearing what you say you feel the chill on your face and the hair on your skin sutter then they break away and disappear in an instant you feel relieved you hear Herta's voice at just the right time you met fully again well done previous testers never even got the response from fully sounds like she has settled down from her excitement and her voice has returned to the usual emotionless and mechanical register you're still watching me uh yep sure am just treat it as a perk of being a rookie once you're familiar with the simulated universe i won't bother you too much there's so much to be done so just play around by yourself her to size there's a downloader just a little further ahead remember to use it to expand your team your brain is gradually adapting to the simulated universe in the available ram is gradually becoming accessible to you so you can play with more people all right snap out of it go and choose your blessing all righty the blessing of remembrance is manifested in ice which will enhance freeze effects and buffs Ooh, so that's good for march i think after the character inflicts weakness break there is a 100 chance to apply disassociation to the enemy for one turn this effect ignores enemies chance to resist freeze Ooh, that's really good i'm gonna equip that all right let's get this guy bah! oh there's the downloader okay all right march you're up. Let's go. Holy shit. That did big damage. Okay. I didn't mean to use this one. I meant to use March 7th ult, but you know what? I'll take it. All right, let's go. Wow, another one. There you go. Lost your turn. GG. My turn. Nice. Good stuff. You have defeated normal enemies and can select one blessing. After disassociation is removed from the enemy, there's a 75%. Okay, I, I like this one because it follows up on that buff that I just got. So I'm going to use that one. There's the downloader terminal. Go give it a try. Okay, so I can add a fourth, I think. Ooh, it's time to twirl. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's get it. Let's add her. Oh my God. What a self-insert, man. Not only am I going to watch you, but I also want to be a part of your journey. So I'm putting myself in the game. Oh, wow. Look at that. Already, Pog. Let's get it. Oh no, it's happening. Get me out of this game, please. I can't. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. No. You don't understand. This is literally worse than Osmantis wine. I swear to God. It's so funny, though. I love it. 
Let's go. After an enemy is attacked five times, they have a 150% chance to become frozen for one turn. I'm going to go for all of like the high grade ones. To expand the session, the system created the concept of zones. Go through the teleporter into the next zone. All right, let's move forward. Open the map. There is a map for you. In the first tab, you will find your root progress records. The second tab is the blessings you've obtained. Okay. R1 to view blessings. Is this little feature helpful? So this is the regular one and this is the all this is all of them and then this is for the current okay i see yeah i need to make sure that the trap uh the tra the trash blazer doesn't die i keep wanting to say traveler and then trailblazer we are the trash blazers in this house okay all right so she's gonna get targeted all right you know what we're gonna do this real quick good stuff get the big damage easy clap get him reveal the sanctuary is but a vision Break. nice yeah so uh, yeah it's always time to twirl when you're with her though it's all yours. Bah. Time to twirl. <laughs> My turn. Please. I can't keep doing this. You can't run. Let's go march. Get that bag, girl. Oh, shit. We're back into the abyss, ladies and gentlemen. Enemies are falling, and you cannot contain your excitement. You are a genius. You are sure of it. Your concentration starts to crumble. You love the shaking of every leaf. You enjoy the destructive power of endless thoughts until you realize that something is wrong with you. This is not you. I really think the Stellaron inside of us is bringing out our inner destruction. We're literally being corrupted by the cancer inside of us. Uh-oh, they're here. Here? Whoa! What the heck is this? Akavili! Akavili! A voice laughed wildly. It has been so long. I've missed you greatly. Your hair stands on ends. This is the infectious enthusiasm of a madman. Yo, look at all these masks. That's kind of cool. Who's this? Aha! The elation. Whoa. They appear before you without a head and a mask on their arms. They wave their hands to you, still spinning in circles, their arms hanging in midair, their muscles controlling their trembling knuckles and their posture like that of a sculpture. I am so sad. They suddenly became sorrowful. Why did you die? They whimpered in pain as tears ran down the back of your hand. You felt like you really have died. Oh God. You have fallen too long and the universe has lost its order. They began to clap their hands. Then everything started to turn to chaos. This is what I want. I want to hug you. Unfortunately, I'm just an equation in a computer. Oh, that seems kind of cool. They scratched their head. What the heck? Wait, so they know Oh, we're in a simulation bro i swear to god i said that in the first part i was like what if the aeons are like aware playing along you know this punk has figured it out i have to tell screwlem to edit their data once more i have to apologize to you really i lay in ambush aboard your ship for a whole year just to blow it up with your nameless followers i cannot resist i'm sorry they put their hands on their chest guiltily and bowed solemnly wait what this disgrace is still pretending they've already figured out you're not Akivili. You're Akivili. You're alive and well. What an interesting opponent. Please play with me more. That's what I want. Grow up and defeat me. They kick the ground with a stomp and fade away. You gasp for air as you escape from the torment. Bro, that's on some Dane's leaf shit, right? He's like, defeat, defeat me. me. Command me to step aside. Also, I feel like Fatui vibes from them because they're wearing masks and the Fatui are called the fools, which are like fools that wear masks and stuff like that. That's actually kind of interesting. Aha, the Aeon of Elation. Herta explained uncharitably, a very elusive one who probably found themselves living in a game. This fella is very loud and dangerous. Next time, bite your tongue and talk to them more. Thanks for your hard work. The blessings of the Elation loves to throw surprises, which can be suitable for characters who do fall okay so hurt is basically about to pop off right now increase the crit rate of follow-ups by 39 percent each time a character is hit by a follow-up the cat oh my god that is wild i'm gonna go with this one the painted albatross hurt just got a big buff you guys know what time it is it's time to twirl i'll tell you that right now Sheesh. Time to twirl. <laughs> oh man ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Damn, we like double froze them. Jesus. Yeah, this guy is tanky. Do you know who I am? You're the queen of twirling. Wow. Ooh, perpetual freezer achievement. All right, so you know what? I'm going to activate this one. Let's get it. I'll take the middle one. Let's keep them coming, boys. Got him. Take by surprise. That must be like preemptive strikes, I think. Rules are made, made to, to be broken. broken. Just like these faces I'm about to break. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I gotta be careful. March and the trash blazer are low. Time, time to twirl. It's always time to twirl when you're with Herda. 
and GG. Yeah, I'm coming really close with some of these fights. I gotta be careful. After characters launch, increase their... Ooh, I'm gonna increase their speed. I'll do that. Speed is like a super valuable stat in this game for sure. All right, let's carry on. Oh, the boss? We need a strategy. Yeah, you know what the strategy is? We hit it harder. That's all we do. Big damage. I feel like I should take out the mobs first. Yeah, let's do that. All right, nice. Good stuff. March, I got to put one on you and the trash blazer so we don't die. Oh, this music? Okay, we're jamming right now. Holy moly. I think I'm going to hit him with everything I have, all of my ults. All right. Don Hung is kind of a sitting duck in this fight. I'm going to put one on you. All right, now I feel better about myself. I don't think I'm going to die so quickly. Hey, let's go. All right, so now it's just a matter of just whittling them down. This feels like a spiral abyss. It's kind of like a mid spiral abyss right now. Because this, I know that the Forgotten Halls is the actual spiral abyss. So I, I kind of like this. It's all yours. Oh, nice. Let's go. Great job. That's it for today. I've chatted with a few of my collaborators and we've decided to redouble our efforts. Next time you come back, we'll enjoy the official version of... Si oh, that's right. I'm still in beta. What tricks are you trying to pull this time? Pretty much a complete overhaul of an upgrade. Herta replies, Skrulam and Ruan May don't think much about it, but Steven is thrilled to pieces. I bet he thinks we're really developing a game here. Oh, dear. Oh, Oh, yeah, that's right. Blue Skidoo. We can too. We got to get out of there. I never thought Aha would show up. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to deploy the official version. We have to spend some time on upgrading. The test version will be abandoned. What a shame. I was just getting addicted. <laughs> Wait, what is up with Aha? Elation is a very strange Aeon. They are both confused and clear minded and not as stubborn as the other Aeons. Aha won't stay confined to a single concept. Oh, that's interesting. They may have seen right through to the nature of the simulated universe. You'll be able to re enter the simulated universe soon the update has quite a lot of changes hang on i still have questions yes have you decided on what to do with aha i have a basic consensus with screwlem first he'll try reducing the plurality values of the simulated aha even going as far as blocking their self-consciousness but that's a little dangerous and may attract a real elation if we feel this method is unfeasible then we'll probably leave this aha to play however they like while isolating them from communicating with the other simulated aeons it seems like they're gonna create like a scenario like a chaotic scenario within the simulated universe that I hope isn't going to like repeat itself in the real world. The stuff that they're doing in the simulated universe, I feel like could be somewhat paralleled or reflected in our like real world actions, especially with like Aeons communicating with one another. Are the Aeons in there really simulations? Ha! Do you find them awe-inspiring too? A virtual Aeon is not the same as any old AI. Ruan, May, and I came up with a way to connect virtual Aeons with their real paths. Aeons in the simulated universe are the equivalent of a terminal, and their godhood and wisdom come from the real Aeon. Otherwise, what would be the value in any information we get? That is true. You want it to be as close to the original as possible without it being the original. Connecting it to the path makes sense. Who's this Steven you keep going on about? Oh, he's our fourth partner. Member 84, Steve. Whoa, he's after her. He's the most recent member then. Number 84, Steven Weirdo Lloyd. That guy's a genius with no interest in using his abilities and spends two-thirds of his time in his adoptive father's fruit shop. Fruit shop, the first thing I think of is Quinn from Genshin. He can't even get himself excited about something as cool as the simulated universe. Steven did us a favor and asked to remain anonymous. He doesn't want to make a big splash at all. Perhaps some geniuses wish they weren't one. That makes a lot of sense. He's like, you know what? I'll contribute, but I don't want any of the glitz and glamour. By the way, there is a simulated universe index. Oh, we can finally access that. Yeah, it's right there. You can check it out if you have nothing else to do, but if you're not interested, then forget it. Thank you, Herta. Is it not human nature to collect? Use the index. Look, information about blessings, curios, and aeons in the simulated universe are collected in the index. Ah, the index of aeons is top secret info I procured. Oh my God, there's 154 blessings. We got to collect them all, I think. The index of curios will continue to explore in later worlds. Gotcha. The aeons tread their respective path and travel between the starry skies. Lesser beings seek only but a glimpse of them. You never imagine you would meet them in this way. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh my god, this is kind of cool. Klepoth, 
Fooly and Aha seven in the simulated universe. That is so sick. Oh my God, they have lore on these guys too. And you get more when you unlock all the blessings of elation. That makes so much sense. Yeah, I'll definitely have to follow up on this in a future, either a future streamer on my own, but this is a lot to take in for sure. Oh, you get Stellar Jade for collecting them. Okay, don't mind if I do. Oh, the Herta store. Oh yeah, so this is what I heard about. If you do the simulated universe, you get these resources and then you can buy five-star light cones. So this is one of destruction. This is one of hunt. This is one of preservation so you can literally get free five stars just by playing the game which is nutty so are these like automatic refinement points that you can refine since you can't get more than one of these weapons right wow so you buy the weapon for eight and then you can refine it for the cost of two wow so like in a couple months you can have like a free fully refined five star weapon that's huge bro genshin wishes it could be like this clear world two world four and world six of the simulated universe for the first time wait so you can get an E2 Herta just for doing this as well. That's nice. Damn, she's really trying to twirl. Oh, finally. Yeah, I completed my guidebook. Nice. And I get all these rewards. And now the next chapter. Oh, my God. Okay, I already completed this. Buy one item in the world shop. Okay, I'm going to go do that right now. I haven't bought anything from that shop yet, so I might as well do it right now. I've been hoarding all my points. There's a lot of good resources to choose from here. I think I'm going to go with this free Idolin for the main trash blazer. And we get a bunch of these rewards as claims because we spent a good 500. Wow. Oh, oh my God. We got Asta's dog. Woof, walk time. <laughs> Increase the wearer's attack by 10% and increase their damage to enemies afflicted by burn or bleed. It also applies to damage over time. Yo, we got a peppy freaking light cone, Pog. Yeah, I'm definitely going to work on this herd of space station resources. I'll probably get a couple more of these off stream, but that's great that you get extra like resources for that too. And now that I did that, I can complete all of these as well. So I got the Calyx, treasure, level up, trailblazer idolin, and the shop. Easy clap. Oh my God, we get another light cone. Oh. <gasps> No shot. Really? Bro, this game is super generous early on. A light cone for the hunt path. This is probably like a good option for Don Hung. After entering battle, increase the wearer's speed by eight and damage by 12. When the wearer takes damage, this effect will disappear. The effect will resume after the end. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Good shit. All right, and this one's gonna take a little bit. I have to complete the main quest. I don't even have access to relics yet, but we are going to try to go for the simulated universe. I do want to complete the first two worlds. Trailblazer Idolin. I definitely want to focus on this. The unwilling host attacking enemies with physical weakness restores the trailblazers HP. Oh, wow. So that's a little bit of healing there. It's not a lot, but it's something, you know, while wow, my trailblazer level 4,700 experience out of 1600. So I have to hurry up and do that equilibrium mission too. If I want to get more out of that, I think we're going to be doing world one stuff now. I'll just try Try my luck. I'll see how it is. The official version of Simulated Universe. Forget about the previous beta versions. There are a lot of changes. Do you want me to give you the patch notes? Just say them out loud. You have zero manners. <laughs> Firstly, Steven has made significant adjustments to the gameplay loop. According to him, the objective of each phase is even clearer. I don't really get it. Just because I'm a genius doesn't mean I understand gaming. So whatever he says goes. This version offers a higher degree of freedom. You can mix and match your teams, choose from the variety of blessings. Oh, I can mix and match my own teams and there are even random events to guarantee you a unique experience each time finally there is a new mechanic that will help you better pretend to be akivili oh wow okay i really hope this isn't too hard voila the official simulated universe the real game begins here the official game contains multiple explorable worlds with progressive difficulty all the fun features will be gradually unlocked oh okay we have a score look here you earn points each time you clear a stage this is what i was talking about so they give you the currency right there the card right there at 2800 to get the free five star light cones the rewards for the last two clears are here rewards and points here will refresh weekly yeah so this is the end of the first week now go and explore world one i'm sure you can find some new stuff you've never seen before after clearing any worlds for the first time you may receive extra rewards jesus okay explore the domain to earn points that will be exchanged for rewards so these are first time rewards and these are i think the drops that you can get while you're here defeat enemies and simulated universe wait a minute i can't endlessly farm these mats can i i can oh shit. 
weird. So I can max out these stats if I wanted to just by playing repeatedly forever. My hoarder synapses are all firing on all cylinders right now. I'll see how it actually plays out and uh, we'll go from there. And I can bring my characters. Let's go. None of that trial nonsense. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so they have wind, physical, imaginary, quantum. I'm thinking this team will do. I need to level them up first though, so... I have leveled up all of my characters and their weapons to 30. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a little OP, but this will basically be like my simulated universe run team for right now. While exploring the simulated universe, cosmic fragments can be obtained. During exploration, consume cosmic fragments to acquire extra health. After completing at least one domain in the simulated universe in the last cycle, you can select one blessing of the trailblaze upon re-entry. Yeah, I'll go for cosmic fragments then. Oh, this guy's level 12. I should have just stayed at the level I was at. I feel like I'm going to one-shot everything right now. <laughs> All right, this is going to be easy clap, boys. Oh, no. Like, I literally do not think this matters. I'm about to auto-battle all of this shit. Oh, come on. I was just about to ask if there's destructibles here, but I guess the destructibles give you the fragments. Yeah, let's just auto this real quick. Y'all are actually dead. Zeal is literally gonna kill everything here. She can just cycle and just kill everyone constantly. Oh my god. All right, let's get the gravitational rainbow. Get him, Zeal. Disappear from right. the sea of butterflies. You don't need to do him that. You don't. 1200 damage. That's so busted. You don't need it to go that hard. My God. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Anything that gives damage to make this go by faster, I'll do it. Sir, I'm busted right now. You better be prepared, my guy. Frozen? Unlucky. Oh my God, hold on. This guy's actually beefy. He's not dying in one hit, Pog. All right, let's do this. All right, well, pop off, King. Pop off, King. Bop. What a freaking goat. After attacking frozen enemies, follow up at the beginning of battle. You'll gain a special... You know what? We'll do that. We'll take it. We'll take whatever we can. We move. Oh, this is a respite area. Okay, nice. Not that I need it, but I appreciate the gesture. Hello, Herta. Herta's puppet appears in the simulated universe. Having only communicated with you via voice before, it's a little surprising to see her manifesting like this. She looks at you expressionlessly. This is a resting area, giving you a place to catch your breath in the otherwise scary simulated universe. We hope you can restore your health, resurrect your team, buy equipment, and enhance your blessings here. Herta says irresponsibly. You can enhance blessings with me and as for the other functions, you can find them in the room itself. Oh, enhanced blessings. Mm-hmm. Herta replied flippantly, as the game master, I can make your blessings stronger or even make earth shattering changes to them at the price of paying cause. Okay, it's a good thing I got the cosmic then. Ah, here we go. Cosmic fragments are required to enhance blessings. Blessing can only be enhanced once. Again, I feel like this is kind of like OP mega hacks. I don't need all of this big damage. All right, so we'll do it on the ultimate experience map. Maverick here. Upgrade. Augers. This one deals damage to enemies. I'll use it on this one as well. We'll do that. And I think that's all I can do. Let us continue. I'm instinctively just looking around for like any type of breakable materials. No quantum now? Damn. They're really doing Zila dirty over here. GG. Easy clap, boys. Primordial hardship. Increase the damage of frozen enemies. Yeah, let's do that one. Because there's a chance that you start the battle frozen. I feel like these perks are doing most of the work for me. Yeah, look at that. Zila gets a follow-up. Zila gets a follow-up. Easy. GG, boys. We take those. Shielded characters take 16% less damage. Follow-up right after an enemy is frozen. You know what? I'll do this one. Pain and suffering. You'll love to see it. Let's take out this guy. We'll get this. Leave it to well, me. we'll bounce. Base. What a well-oiled machine. I'm also like busted out of my mind right now. So right, I don't really have any characters that do follow-up attacks here. So I guess I'll just grab this one. Yeah, I'll grab this one. Not too bad. We're kind of moving through this, which is nice. Ooh, a current. <laughs> what the heck? An event? Oh, <gasps> Stephen Lloyd's idea. You see a man about 30 years old with an unremarkable appearance, wearing a white shirt and brown suspenders. His eyes wander while he speaks as if avoiding something. I wanted to add some random event to the game to make it more fun. I think the brainwave reader is on the fritz. So uh, now the event encounters are a bit more monotonous. Sorry about that. What are you talking about? Like he stuttered with 
without looking at you like uh this is a random event now i wrote some templates but the simulation currently doesn't have any way of converting them into content okay after speaking the man disappeared and a line of words materialized where he was standing random event damn dude we're literally genshin obtain some cosmic frags you know what we'll take the frags 150 easy it's all right i understand hopefully very soon i really want you to have a good time once again i'm really sorry about that that's fine this man thinks he's making a video game meanwhile herta's like i get one step closer to the gods herta what's going on upgrade my stuff you encounter herta uncaringly she looks at you expressionlessly congratulations well done on getting here herta responded carelessly you can use up your cosmic fragments here to enhance your blessings of course i don't want to do the follow-up all right we'll do the freeze here all right cool 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 we'll do this one as well i'll do the highest rank one coolio we got the mob now we made it to the end boys and you're gonna get wrecked you are like super weak to everything i have almost oh there's two of them you know what let's get in there illusions of the past nice You'll well it's just kind of big chilling right now oh this is clean i get the follow-up nice not bad not bad i'll have her go first again yeah she's getting all the breaks on this guy right now so i'm gonna attack and then i'm gonna ult there we go disappear among the sea of butterflies illusions of the past bah! that was clean world complete so you're just kind of like blitzing through like specific rooms of worlds you've been to success seven out of seven zila bronya welts natasha natasha just sitting there looking like a snack but everybody else kind of put in work nice oh we got the herd of bonds yes i need these so every month or so i think i can accumulate enough of these to get one of those five star weapons which is pretty base how's your experience with the official release if you find it easy you can go challenge the next world Apparently, it's more difficult with stronger enemies. Skrulem said that, according to the model, you have a 60% chance of losing the first time. But it's not like you'll actually lose anything. You'll clear it sooner or later. All right. Are you folks really here to research Aeons? What are you talking about? Our goal hasn't changed. Now go on and get ready. All righty. That was an interesting experience. That was my first foray into the simulated universe. Obviously, demolished the hell out of it. I feel like I was a little overpowered there. Let me see. I just want to gander and see how level level two works oh i actually can't i gotta progress the main story so i guess we will pick up where we left off here at a later point in time my points are at 1500 right now so if i just keep doing world one over and over again i assume i get 700 points every time i do it so i would have to do it three more times in order to guarantee all these rewards right i will definitely be doing this off stream i'll probably be doing it immediately after tonight's stream because it resets after tomorrow it resets on monday Monday, and I definitely want to get all these rewards tonight. But I just wanted to kind of go through my first experience on stream for the simulated universe. I will be going through simulated universes whenever I can the first time because there is lore with Herta and the devs that are working on this simulated programming and obviously the Aeon interactions. Every so often, I will include a simulated universe session in this playthrough series like I did today. So this was a pretty lengthy first run, this first foray. I think I'm going to take a short little intermission here to overall kind of wrap up the content that we did for the first two hours and we will pick up very shortly i am going to be continuing on we have an equilibrium level that i want to level up we got to go talk to pom pom and get all of my rewards and level up my trailblazer level we should be continuing on with the story after this so sit tight and we will be continuing shortly